Hello everyone and welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. I've received a lot of requests asking to make a tutorial on performance tuning of your Power BI reports. So here I am with a tutorial showing you a couple of things in Power BI which will help you speeden up your reports. So let's get started with this tutorial. So let me import a table which is on my SQL server. So let me just click on OK and look at the tables that I have over here. I'm going to import this particular table which says bike trip data and I'm going to click on load over here. So this has close to a million rows in this particular data set. So we've now loaded the data into Power BI and we have 9,43,786 rows over here. Now let me import the same table once again and this time we are going to apply some transformation to our data set. So both the tables have now been loaded. I'm going to just rename this to data with transformation. When I refresh these two tables over here, you will notice that both of them are taking same amount of time to get refreshed. Let's head to Power Query Editor and let's apply some transformations to one of our table over here. So on the table that I have renamed to Bike Trip Data with Transformation, let's apply some transformations over here. First of all, I'm going to change the duration over here from the decimal to the whole number. And I'm going to change the start date here instead of having date time, I need to only have date. And likewise for the end date column as well. And then I'm going to come over here instead of having member and casual, I want to replace these values. Instead of casual, I want to have this as non member. Non hyphen member, I'm going to click on OK. So this has added a new step now. And then let's add another step over here. I'm, I'm, I want to rename this column here as start underscore station underscore name. I want to also add a calculated column over here, which will multiply my cost with duration so that it gets me the total cost. Total underscore cost. Okay. And then I also want to rename this particular column over here. I'm going to come here and say rename end station underscore name. All right. So I've, I've applied very minimal transformation into my data set over here. So let me just go back here and click on close and apply to give you an example of both the tables over here. One table that I have is the where I have applied the transformation and the other table is straight from the SQL database. And now when I click on refresh, you will notice the time taken to load in both of these tables. The bike trip data is quite fast. It is already loaded. Whereas bike trip data with transformation is still getting loaded. It is taking a lot of time to get loaded and now it has finally loaded. So you saw the difference in the time taken for the data to get loaded when you have applied transformation. And now you might say that these transformations are mandatory for me. How do I get rid of it? If I don't do this in Power Query, where should I do these transformation? You, there is an option where you can do this. Instead of applying all of these steps in your Power Query, you can do this in your SQL itself. Here is the SQL query that I have wherein I have applied all the transformations that I did on Power BI. Instead of doing this on Power BI, I am doing this here in SQL itself. And if you can see here, I'm casting the duration column here into an integer so I don't have decimals. I have my start date and end date converted into date rather than date and time. I've renamed the column start station name, end station name as well. I've also added a calculated column here which will multiply the cost and duration give me the total cost. And I've also written a case statement over here wherein if it is not a member which, say, which was casual in my other case, it will say that it is a non-member. So all of these transformations are done within the SQL query itself. So I'm going to copy this particular SQL query, paste in the SQL server details that I have. I'm going to enter the database name over here. And then I'm going to paste the SQL statement over here and then click on OK. And the moment I do that, you will see that the data is now getting loaded and the data is now getting loaded much faster. So the data from the SQL query has been loaded. Let me just quickly rename this. I'm going to call this as bike trip query and press enter and now is the moment of truth which will let you decide which option do you want to go with. So let's click on the refresh button and see which one takes longer. This is the original data table that we loaded. 
it has already been loaded this is the table which we applied transformation on which is still getting loaded and this is the query which we applied using the sql query and the data has already been loaded so as you saw here in all of these three examples the fastest one was the bike trip data the original one and followed by the bike trip query and then the bike trip data where we applied the transformation so now you can decide for yourself whether you want to apply the transformations in your sql query itself or bring in your data into power bi and then apply transformation now let's look at another example where you can improve the performance of your dashboard or your report so let me just add a new table over here with some information from the bike trip data table so i've created a table over here and i've added a few columns from the bike trip data table into this particular table and then i have created a measure which will calculate the number of rows that i have in my fact table which is bike trip data and then i have also applied a couple of filters here based on the start date to count the number of rows so let me just pull in this particular measure into the table over here and see that how long does it take to get added so as you can see here it is rotating which means that it is still working to add that particular measure into this table finally the measure has been added now to know how long it actually took to get added into the table we have a nice tool in power bi so we can go to optimize and click on performance analyzer and then click on start recording and then you can click on refresh visuals so as you can see the dax query has taken 8863 milliseconds to get refreshed that is really really slow for a dax query to work dax query usually should work anywhere between 150 milliseconds to 200 milliseconds so what can we do to make this faster so for this you will have to know how to write dax and not just know how to write dax but also know to write dax efficiently so what i mean by that is there is another way to actually count the rows as well so i have used the count rows function here and applied the same sort of filters within this particular data set and now let me just get rid of the count rows slow measure that i've added let me clear the performance analyzer now let's add the count rows fast measure into my table and the moment i drag this into this particular table you will see that the data has been populated and let's see how long is it actually taking to now populate the data so i'm going to click on start recording and then click on refresh visuals and you see that it, it only took 241 milliseconds for this particular dax measure to get added into this particular table now let me also bring in the count row slow into this particular table so that we can have a quick comparison as to how much time both of these dax queries are taking to return the data and you can see that this is still rotating and it has taken 9177 milliseconds this time to fetch the same amount of same information that we have in both of these measures so you can see that our results are exactly the same with count rows fast and count rows slow measure our totals are same as well but the time taken to return the data between the count rows fast and slow is almost a difference of 30 times the count row slow dax query is 30 times slower than our count rows fast function and now this must have given you an idea as to what is causing the delay in your dashboards to become slow and how you can optimize your dashboards be it by optimizing your dax queries or your power query transformations so these are a couple of steps that i thought i will share with you and let you know how to performance tune your dashboard and how you can make use of the performance analyzer tool which is in your power bi desktop which will let you know which table or which visual in your page is taking a lot of time to refresh and you can act based on the results that you see here in the performance analyzer so that you can tweak and tune that particular DAX query or that particular visual in your report. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.